Chapter 6 of Billy Mink. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Billy Mink by Thornton W. Burgess. Billy warns Bobby Coon. A moment's carelessness may bring a sudden end to everything. Billy Mink. For a long time, Billy Mink and Bobby Coon sat gossiping on the edge of the Laughing Brook. Then, Bobby, having finished what he had to eat, decided that he would go down the Laughing Brook to see what he could find. There's nothing Bobby Coon enjoys more than wandering along the Laughing Brook, watching for a little fish to come carelessly within reach, or just simply playing in the water. Bobby has almost as much curiosity as has Peter Rabbit. He simply has to examine everything which appears strange. A white pebble in the water or a shell will catch his eyes, and he will stop to play with it. Billy Mink watched Bobby start along down the Laughing Brook. I wonder what he'll do when he comes to that little fence, thought Billy. So, to find out what Bobby would do, he followed him. When Bobby came to the little fence, he sat down and stared at it in the funniest way. Then he began to talk to himself. That's a funny thing, said he. I wonder how that little fence happens to be here. I've never seen it before. I wonder what it's for. Nobody had any business to build a fence like that. The only way I can get around it is to climb way up that bank, and I don't want to do that. You know, Bobby is rather lazy. So he sat and looked at the fence, which was made of sticks stuck down in the ground. And the more he looked, the more determined he became that he wouldn't be stopped and he wouldn't climb that bank. Of course, it didn't take him long to discover that right in the middle of that fence was an opening, sort of a gateway. But it was a very narrow opening. You see, it had been made just wide enough for Billy Mink, and Bobby Coon was a great deal bigger than Billy Mink. Bobby went a little nearer and once more sat down with his head cocked on one side as he studied that little opening. It's too narrow for me, but if I try hard enough, perhaps I can push those sticks aside and make it wider. That would be easier than climbing that steep bank, thought he. So Bobby walked a few steps nearer and again sat down. Somehow he had an uncomfortable feeling that something was wrong. He didn't know why he had that feeling, but he had it. Now whenever one of the little people of the green forest has that feeling, he becomes very cautious. Bobby was tempted to try at once to push his way through that little opening, but because of that feeling that something was wrong, he hesitated. Then, very carefully, he examined that little fence from the bottom of the steep bank clear to the edge of the water. He smelled of each separate stick of that fence, but he could smell nothing suspicious. Those were just plain old sticks and nothing else. Finally, he made up his mind, and there couldn't be anything really wrong in at least trying to go through that little opening. He reached forward with one foot to place it right in the middle of that opening. Stop! cried Billy Mink. End of chapter 6. Read by Quia Carrot. May 20th.